Can a person be a soprano and an alto at the same time? Or a bass and a baritone at the same time? You want to know the answers? Follow me. I'll tell you. Hello everybody, my name is Moses Toto from Tintena and you're welcome to another episode of Classical Experience. Stay tuned. In the classical world, composers require specific voice for their creation. So, a composer can require a light voice to suit the music and make the music more meaningful. Like imagine Romeo being a big dramatic voice. He doesn't communicate the message or he doesn't communicate the idea of a lover. So, the composer who therefore in his own wisdom writes the music also requires specific voice to accompany his music. The human voice has been known to change over time. As a teenager or a young boy, the voice is known as the treble voice in which the child grows gradually and the voice changes to maybe a soprano or a counter tenor, bass tenor, whatever the voice tends to be, you just take it like that. The voice changes with time and it has been known to reach its full maturity at 40 years. So when a person gets to 40 years, the voice is known to be at its apex or its prime. A young singer will then wonder if his voice is going to be the same forever maybe in his 20s he has a particular smaller voice will it be the same forever sometimes voices of singers change over time sometimes it does not so a singer can start as a very light singer or a very lyric singer but as the person grows into his 30s and 40s the voice begins to change dramatically sometimes it does not as i have indicated if you have not watched my video on different type of classical voices you can click on the link and go back and come back and let's continue <sighs> remember always stay hydrated as i said some people can start with very light voices but as time goes on, the voices change and it becomes bigger. But sometimes teachers don't know this. Vocal teachers or voice coaches don't know this and they put a singer in a box. Maybe they say you are a lyric soprano, but the voice is just starting out and because you've not had your maximum training, your voice is still there. But when this wrong classification comes in, the voice can suffer in the long run. The hardest classification is the dramatic voices. So sometimes dramatic tenor can be mistaken for baritone voices. So because of the weight of the voice, the person is mistaken for a baritone or maybe sometimes a bass. So the person is put in that category and the person sings there for a long time and in the end, the person struggles in the long run because they have been singing the wrong repertoire whilst the voice hasn't matured to its full potential yet. Similar things happen to mezzo-soprano or dramatic sopranos. So mezzo-sopranos are mistaken for lower voices like probably contra altos or sometimes dramatic sopranos are mistaken for mezzo-sopranos. This is where the problem is classifying bigger voices. So to answer the question from the beginning, let's say at a particular age, let's say at 30, a woman will be able to sing soprano rose probably and also lower voices like maybe the mezzo soprano or contra alto rules does that mean the person has two categories no the voice is in such a way that at a particular point in your life or a particular point in your singing life the voice is very comfortable in a particular range so the voice is comfortable in a particular range at a particular point in your life so let's say you're a metal soprano but you don't know yet or you've not grown enough to know yet so you'll be able to sing lower registers or songs in lower registers and you'll be able to sing real soprano roles but i can assure you that when you are singing the other role that your true voice is not your voice will suffer and you feel some discomfort by all means you only feel very comfortable when you are singing the natural voice so you, yes, probably you'll be able to sing tenor and at the same time bass or probably soprano and at the same time alto. But you know for a fact that, okay, when I'm singing one of that voice parts, I'm very comfortable here more than here. And in that sense, you can say, okay, I am a soprano instead of an alto. But you'll be able to sing it though, but that's not a true voice. You know? 
The voice as our bodies is also a muscle. So by all means, with time and as you age, the voice will also weaken. So you might be able to sing higher notes maybe in your 30s, 40s. But as you age 50, 60, you can see that you'll not be able to sing those notes again or you'll not be able to sing that flexible again. Sure, it's human nature. We are all bound to grow old. Don't worry when that starts happening. It's part of human life. Yeah, we'll all grow old and probably die. <gasps> so, remember this. When you want to classify your voice, your age should be the number one thing. So, if you're a younger person, it is likely that your voice will change. So, don't be in a rush to put yourself in a box and say, okay, I am a lyric coloratura soprano or I'm a dramatic soprano. Take your time, explore what you can, sing this, sing that. You, by all means, find what is comfortable for you. Take your time, as you grow, you'll find what is suitable for you. I can assure you that. How does choral singing fit in all these? Well, choral singing is not about, you know, how big your voice is or how high your voice is. It's a group singing. So by all means, you have to compromise a lot to sing in choral music, if you are a choral musician. So you have to explore your choir, see what works for you and adapt to a single tone. Don't think about how big your voice is or how small your voice is. Just take your time and work with your part or your choir and see what tone works for a particular part. So the voice is automatically will be lighter compared to a solo classical singer. So don't worry, choral singing, these classifications are not very important in choral singing. They are important for solo operatic or classical singing. Because in the Western world, they sing over bigger orchestras and in bigger halls without any amplification. So screaming your lungs out for three hours, two hours a night would affect you in the long run if you are doing it in the wrong voice type. So that's why it's very important to know what particular voice type you are so that you'll be able to sing the right thing in the right repertoire. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel Tim Tena and also follow my Facebook page and also like my Facebook page Tim Tena and as new videos come, don't forget to click on that notification button to get every notification that comes away. Stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.